Today we're going to take a look at the Fireside Outdoor Pop-Up Fire Pit with the heat shield and the included trifold grill grates. Now I am going to show you how these pieces go together. We're going to take the grill grates and put those aside and show you when we get the pit done how they add on. But we'll start with the fire pit. All your complete fire pit is right here in this nice storage bag. It has a nice shoulder handle on this. So it's very compact design. And then we're going to go through the parts. I'm going to open it up and we'll go through the parts. There's only a few parts. And we'll put it together and build this fire pit and show you how quick it is to do. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and slide out our pieces and then we'll go through them all. There we go. Put our storage bag away. So we'll start with the base. It comes with a collapsible aluminum base. Let's go ahead and remove the strap. And then with our base, this is our aluminum base. You can see here's your feet, nice sturdy feet on it. And you just open it up and it'll collapse into the fire pit design. And then we'll also come with these ember guards. These are aluminum ember guards. And we're going to install these and I'll describe what they would do. Is First of all, you just put one on this side. There's four of them. We'll take the other one, put it across from it. And then we'll take the other two, put the other way to stabilize it. When you drop it on. There you go. And we'll put the other last one right here in the front. And then you'll have your stainless steel mesh that your wood or charcoal will sit on and the fire will burn on. And this is a micron filtration. You can see it has a very see-through design. And it has the grommets on each end, so those go right on the same post. And we'll start with up front here. Just go ahead and put those on. And then we'll take the rear and drop it right on. And once you get those grommets on, there we go. Then you just push your mesh all the way down so it bottoms out, and that'll give you your fire pit. And again, here's where your wood or charcoal will go. Now this is a nice portable fire pit. It'll let you gather around your fire on the beach, in the mountains, or even while tailgating. As you can see, it pretty much sets up in 60 seconds, and it's all aluminum. It does cool down in 90 seconds. The telescoping stand we mentioned, this will let you collapse the pit to a smaller than camp chair, and you can carry it in that storage bag. Now these ember guards I mentioned, basically what they are, they're three and a half inches tall all the way around. And what that does, keeps any of, from those, any of those hot embers when your fire's burning and you have these embers in here, it keeps those hot embers from uh, falling out onto the area around your fire pit so you don't have any problems like that. So that's why they have them about three and a half inches tall. It does meet the BLM and USFS requirements for sensitive areas. The stainless steel mesh we mentioned uses microfiltration, gives you an open air flow. The air will flow underneath and through the fire, gives you a brighter, hotter fire. And the hotter flames will create 80% less smoke than traditional campfires. And the nice feature is 99% of the ashes will stay contained in this mesh even when you extinguish it with the water. So when you put out your fire, most all those ashes are going to stay right up here, make for an easy cleanup. Also, that airflow through there will help keep the whole fire pit itself cooler. Now, they do include this heat shield. This is the last part that was in there. It's a flame retardant heat shield. And what that does, that'll help you enjoy the fire without leaving a trace on the ground. The shield will keep heat from transferring to the ground so you can enjoy your fire on grass, wood decks, or even parking lots without any damage. The heat shield, let's, we'll go ahead and install that just to show you. Put that underneath. <clears throat> On each corner is a Velcro strap. And then what you'll do is you notice on the legs they have a Velcro tab, and that'll hold it into place. So what we'll do is we'll attach it around that Velcro tab and into the heat shield, and we'll do that on each corner. And same way over here, just like that. <clears throat> and then we'll do it over here. And then on the last one, and 
And then with that heat shield installed, you can see that'll give you a nice protection from anything underneath your fire pit. <clears throat> now this is a durable construction. It will hold up to about 125 pounds of wood in the mesh here. It will work with firewood, charcoal, or pellets. Now this, one, this part number actually is the fire pit with the tri-fold grill grate, and I am going to show you how that will go on there. It comes in its nice storage bag too with the strap. The Velcro flap will open up. And then here's your actual tri-fold grill grate. You can see it's a tri-fold design. And the way you would attach that comes with these rails and legs. And basically you have these aluminum legs and they are adjustable. You can see you can turn it up or down. So you drop one on each side, just like that. <coughs> And again, they're aluminum. And then you'll take your rails, <clears throat> and what you'll want to do, actually, let's turn them this way. And there's a slot there that the rail will slide right into. <clears throat> and then you could tighten them down. We'll do the same over here. <clears throat> and then you can just take your grill grate <clears throat> and set it right onto your rails and that'll hold it above the fire. And as I said, it is adjustable so you could go up or down. This will upgrade your outdoor fire pit to an outdoor grill. It has a large cooking space, lets you cook directly on the grill in pots or pans. <clears throat> and it is made of a heavy duty 304 stainless steel construction. It's easy to clean, resists rust. The bars themselves are a four millimeter diameter bar which will hold up to about 50 pounds of meat and vegetables. And the folding grill grate <clears throat> sits on these rails by the four, and supports by the four aluminum legs. The nice thing about it is the tri-fold design. This will let you decide how much cooking air you want to use, 75%, 50%, or 25%. You can just flip it <coughs> under like that and use 50% just like that, or even go down to 25%. What's nice is the shorter length area makes adding fuel to fire easier, and it even lets others enjoy the open flame while you do the grilling on this side. I mentioned it does come in this nice vinyl carrying case. It's very easy to clean, makes storing and transferring the grill itself very easy. A few specs on this, the fire pit itself, it's gonna be 24 inches long, 24 inches wide, 15 inches tall. When it's collapsed in the storage bag, it's still 24 inches long, but it's only about five inches wide. And the weight on just the fire pit is seven and a half pounds. The grate, <clears throat> when it's fully open, is going to be about 16 and a half inches long by 22 and a half inches wide. The f when it's all folded up, is 26 inches long when it's in the bag here, six inches wide and about three inches thick. And the weight on just the grate and its parts are about seven pounds. But again, you can just fold out if you want the whole area <clears throat> or if you only want to use part of the area or even just like that, and then it all collapses down very quickly. But that should do it for the review on the fireside outdoor pop-up fire pit with the heat shield and the tri-fold grill grate.